Nothing but a memory from the house that I like to start off with a clean face before I go ahead and start grooming my eyebrows. Here is a closer look at what my brows look like once they're fully grown. I then take a spoolie and just brush through them. And I like to brush them up just so that I can get ready to start trimming the hairs that are a little bit too long. I just grab any little scissors and I just start cutting away any of the excess little um, hairs that are, might stick up. small hairs that stick up, you want to grab your eyebrow pencil or brow powder. I am using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. I like this pencil because it brings a spoolie at the other end and it makes it easier to shape our brows since both tools we use the most are in the same place. What I do to get my desired brow shape is I start mapping out the brows to the shape that I want my brows to look like. For example, I am going for the square shape. So I dramatically map around my brows into the square shape is the way I want it to look like. Remember, your brows are not twins, so it's okay for, for one brow to be slightly different than the other. Just repeat this step until you get the shape of the brows that you feel more comfortable in. Be as creative as you want, but don't get too crazy because brows are really important in the face. Once you map out your desired brow shape, you then want to grab any tweezers and start to tweeze the hair that is left outside of the brow shape you have created. Tweeze away and you will start to notice the shape come together nicely. Once all the hair is tweezed, start working on the center of your brows and tweeze away all the hair that's there. baby wipe and wipe up all the excess brow liner and start to fill in my brows from scratch. This step will also help you see if you need to go back in and tweeze more hair. Remember, if you over tweeze, it's okay. Apply a little bit of Vaseline every day and your brows will grow even thicker. Now we're ready to start filling in our brows. Your brows should line up with the tip of your nose in each side and it should end when you line the tip of the nose to the outer corner of your eyes in a line. I'm not quite sure if that made any sense for some of you guys, so I recommend you watch what I do instead of listening for this part because it just makes a little bit more sense once you watch what I'm doing. Once you figure out where your brows should start and end, you will begin to fill them in. I like to start by filling in the bottom portion of my brows and then I start to fill in the outer half of the brows. I like to leave the front part for last. Once the outer part is filled in using small strokes, you then want to move to the inner part of your brows. halfway leaving the top untouched. Then with the spoolie I blend upwards that brow pencil. 
This gives it a more natural finish since everything is blended upwards. Once that inner corner is filled in, start to blend upwards and you're gonna see a gradient effect. I really enjoy this step because like I mentioned before, it gives it a very natural finish and it just looks like it's perfect and it's your natural brow and it doesn't make it look so harsh and so filled in. With that spoolie, just blend in that brow pencil so that it looks very natural. If you have any gaps that you messed up, just go back in with that brow pencil and fill them in, but don't forget to use the spoolie to blend it all together. to go in with a concealer and clean around the edges. This step gives the brows a very polished and natural finish. brow gel and apply this to your brows. This will help your brows stay in place all day and all night long. Thank you guys so much for watching and requesting this look. As always, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys on my next one.